For the past few weeks, I've decided that I'm gonna be going without a desktop computer. I'm going only laptop. And coincidentally, Terramaster reached out to me. Terramaster has been making NAS tape products for a long time, NAS. Uh, if you know, if you need like a server type, if you need to have your files, you know, off your computer, basically in a secure place and you can feed them off of the server, they make those NAS. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their brand new DAS. They sent this to me a couple weeks ago. Uh, they actually have a Kickstarter going on right now and they said, you know what, can you release the video right when this product is releasing? And I said, yes. I haven't really got around to setting up a NAS locally. I like the idea of using a DAS, uh, which is a direct storage basically. So you're going to plug it right into your laptop and then rather than, you know, working like a NAS, it's going to be direct storage, almost like you know, an enclosure type device, uh, but you're gonna get a lot more out of the sophistication. This thing here can hold up to four hard drives as well as NVMEs. It's a hybrid style storage solution. I don't know, in my head I thought it would be like this monster, but look at that, isn't that just so cute? Uh, in the front here, you can see. Uh, I'm gonna be putting in four hard drives. The first two you can put in RAID. So I have basically clones. So I have these enterprise drives. Uh, over here and I'm gonna have duplicates of them. So you can put these in RAID, RAID being whatever you want. You could put them in RAID 0, I guess if you wanted, uh, but I'm gonna put them in uh, mirrored RAIDs. And then you also have, I'm not sure how to open it up, but there's basically NVMe hybrid storage in here as well. So let's get the box open here with the goodies. Let's see what we have. So we have our power. Uh, what do we have here? 12 volt, 90 watt, which makes sense. You're gonna be powering a lot of hard drives here. Uh, you get your USB-C, this is how you're connecting it. Tiny little screwdriver and like a SIM card slash SD popper. Look at that little screwdriver, isn't that cute? Some uh, screws, you get labels, if I can get them out of the box here, very cool. Terramaster is not like a random brand. These guys have been, I've several times just debated on buying a NAS off of them on Amazon. They're on Amazon all the time. And local stores, Memory Express here in Calgary, they sell the Terramaster stuff and they have very good reviews. So uh, yeah, I I guess that's a good thing that I held off until now because they sent me this, which is actually perfect, this brand new product. Okay, so I think the one weird thing to get inside the side panel here where the NVMEs are stored is you have to use a screwdriver, I think. Um, I believe you have to take these out here. This product is not even released yet, so. See here on the back, we have a big fan, USB, so that's gonna be how you connect to your computer, 3.2, 10 gigabit per second. Uh, that's fine. I don't know why people like, oh, it's not Thunderbolt 4. Well, none of the devices in here are going to run that fast other than the NVMEs. Uh, and just don't get Gen 4 drives, just get Gen 3 drives or something. Uh, that's fine. So you have single, uh, JBOD, and RAID 0. Oops, RAID 0 uh, or RAID 1. Very cool. So I took out the two screws there, which I think is what you have to do to open it up. Uh, yeah, so you just take out the two screws there. It's not like a snap-off panel. I guess that's one negative. Maybe in the future they could improve it by just having like a like a snap-off panel, it's not a big deal though. Like you're not gonna be swapping, well you shouldn't necessarily be swapping NVMEs routinely. That looks good, so that's there. And then we have four NVMe slots here, right? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna be using Gen 4 drives, but it is overkill. Realistically, you can just get some Gen 3 drives and put them in here. You know, I don't need massive speeds on something like this. You know, you're not gonna be, you probably aren't video editing off of something like this, right? You know, you transfer the files from this, store them, do your work, whatever, move them back onto your device. That's usually what you're gonna use a device for this for. This is a lot. Normally these are inside of my computer. Uh, these are usually mirrored. I don't use them in RAID, technically. I usually have that inside my computer and then I have a cold storage copy of it. And then this is inside my computer and a cold storage copy of that. So that's good. We'll put this in here. I don't remember which of these is which. I don't remember. Um, I'll have to see when they're in. We're gonna start off with them in solo mode and then later I'll get them in uh, you know, like a RAID format or something like that. This is relatively easy to install. I think, yeah, that just goes in like that. It has screws in it. What are these for? I don't need them. Maybe they're just like backups? Like, yeah, I don't, you don't need screws for this. It's like a fully autonomous system or whatever. I guess in case you lose stuff, that felt nice and clean going in. We'll do the next one here. Okay, so here we are in Partition Manager. They're all, these are all messed up. You can reorder them in that here. Uh, so we have my uh, built-in and SSD. This is a laptop, so it just has one. Up here, 
then there's a bunch of them here. These are kind of already not clean drives. So I'm going to clean them using a disk partition. This is, I mean, not the purpose of this video, how to actually use disk part. Uh, disk partition, but uh, some people, you know, you can watch videos on this, but I'm going to clean them out here, uh, get them good to go. The, the, the cloned ones, the, the two of them are fine, but I'm going to clean these guys out here so that we can set them up and raid in that properly. Okay, so I did a bit of a cut here. I did some basic cleanup of my drives here, which by the way, I did all on this. I've had, I've had issues in the past with hard drive enclosures and formatting and getting them all set up, formatting them to the proper formats and getting everything set up. And it's just been an absolute headache. This one here, I didn't have any issues with it. You know, um, it takes a little bit longer, I guess, because there's so many hard drives and there's four hard drives and four SSDs in there. So Windows takes a little bit of time to figure out what's going on. Um, so yeah, I just plugged it in and probably took about, I don't know, was that 10 seconds, 15 seconds? And boom, they all popped up here. So I have everything sorted here. As you can see, I have my, this is my laptop. I have the four SSDs, which I put in order. So two, 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 and one terabyte. I could put in larger ones, but I just don't have them right now. They're in an enclosure. And then I have my hard drives here. So I have my one hard drive here, 16 gigabytes. Oops, you can't really see that. 16 gigabytes. The empty one, 16 gigabytes, which I formatted. It wasn't showing up because it was corrupted from a from a different enclosure. I had a, I had a Sabrent one and it corrupted my, it broke my partition tables um, and I couldn't get them to work. So luckily the TerraMaster had fixed that basically. And then this one was also corrupted here from the Sabrent. Um, these two were inside my computer before my desktop, so they were fine, but I had to clean them up. So I actually went through Partition Manager, through the TerraMaster here, and I cleaned up the partition tables, got them all renamed here, so, I mean, that all, it works. I mean, clearly it works. So I backed up this one here. That's just a different one that I have because this is my like very personal stuff that I've had um, for like years, right? Uh, then I, like I said, I cleaned up all these two. I cleaned up all these names. These were just from random projects. So I emptied them all out, cleaned them all up. And here we go. I mean, it's good, right? Everything works fine here. Like, oh, I already went in here. You know, that's a personal one. Uh, I don't know, it's like old software and things like that. Like. My thing is here, like I don't have a lot of experience with a, with a NAS, right? A lot of people, you know, you set up a NAS, you're comfortable with it, uh, and there's people who are way more into things like servers and NAS, and I don't have that type of experience. Um, like setting up a server for me would be, I'd be going in blind. Like I understand the theory and fundamentals of a server, but I've never made one. So for me to go into that would be going in blind, right? Where the TerraMaster here, this is a direct storage solution. So rather than, you know, having a server, going over my network, whatever, would be able to come in here, plug this in, put in whatever hard drives you want. I mean, you can put in four, or you can put in one, whatever you want. Get it plugged directly into the computer over here on the left here and just use it, right? They're going to pop up here. You do have to have some basic understanding of, you know, partitions and things like that. And but I mean, that's no different than if you put a disk into the hard drive and like put a hard drive into your computer, it'd be exactly the same. So functionally, it's exactly the same. It's just, it's obviously gonna be slightly slower than using them directly in your computer when you have like four hard drives and four SSDs, but the actual transfer speeds are good. It just takes a moment or two for Windows to recognize what's going on, right? Cause you plug it in and it's like, wow, there's a lot of storage here. It takes a moment, then it's fine. So. In terms of that, the TerraMaster is actually quite good. Uh, it's, it is quite literally plug and play. Okay, so I deleted that one there, and then we'll delete this one here. 16, 16. They're both toast now. So now what I think you do, if I do this right, uh, we put it into RAID 1 here now. You could do RAID 0 and have it like striped or whatever. And now I think you just put your little pin thing in here. Oh, yep, it did stuff. All right, right away. Uh, it, unfortunately, I didn't catch that on camera, but right away it was like boop, and it went them into clones. So now I only have one. See that there? Uh, there used to be two of them because I'm in RAID uh, 1. So RAID 1 are clones. So this disk is identical to this disk. Windows won't differentiate them. So uh, it's just going to treat them. Anything it writes to one disk, it will automatically write to the other. If you went with RAID 0, uh, it would stripe them. So they would extend. So it would be disk 1, disk 2 become, you know, a single disk. Uh, and they're going to be written across. I mean, if you know this stuff, then you know this stuff. But if not, uh, so disk uh, RAID 1 is basically clone. It will be a complete duplicate of one another. Uh, if you have them in RAID 0, then they're going to basically be striped. 
So we're just going to initialize, uh, I did the wrong button there. So just gonna initialize it now. And you'll notice there's only one in here, right? There's no longer two. These are totally unrelated. Um, you can see there's only one of those 16 gigabyte hard drives because they're cloned now. Windows treats them as one disk, basically. Uh, I might be not communicating this effectively, but that's how I will use it. So now we'll go like this here and we'll call this, um, I don't know, uh, Western Digital 16 TV, right? Burp. And go like that there. Uh, once that pops up over here, there it is, 16, right? Now there's only one of them. There's only one of them. If I take the singular GIF here, put it over here, go like that, boom. Now I have a GIF on this hard drive and it's cloned to this hard drive because they're treated as one another. So that works perfectly fine. If for some reason you wanted to use RAID 0, I guess for speed purposes, right? So you could put it in RAID 0. These two hard drives would be treated as a single hard drive rather than cloning one another. It would be 16 terabytes, and then this one is just a complete duplicate. It would be 16 terabytes plus 16 terabytes, giving 32, and it would write across them. And it does increase speed, and they're treated as one. So if you want one giant, massive backup that runs a little bit faster, uh, that you could do that. Um, however, if data gets corrupted on one disk, it can easily corrupt the other one, so that's interesting. So for me, I'm gonna keep it in RAID uh, 1, and then anytime I back anything up to my system, I'm good to go. So, I mean, I mean, that's probably the end of the video there. I don't really need to go into this for hours and hours and hours and hours. Really, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. You have four SSD NVMEs in the front there and they work perfectly fine. Uh, the speeds on them are good. No issues whatsoever. You're not gonna get Gen 4, you know, 5,000 megabytes a second speed because the core here only goes over 10 gigabits, but you'll get 1,000. And you get four hard drives and they work perfectly fine. I've had no weird behaviors. I've had no weird disconnects. I've been using this, moved massive amounts of files from one of those hard drives onto this external one, which was plugged into a different over here. Zero hangups, no issues. I just let it run, went and had myself some dinner while the hard drives copied to one another and came back and it was pretty much done. So it works perfect. I have no issues with it whatsoever. All of the NVMEs are fine. I've had no issues with managing disks in here. It hasn't destroyed any of my partition tables. Uh, the Sabrent one destroyed partition tables on two of my hard drives. So that was fun. Um, so I'm very happy with this TerraMaster here. So thank you to TerraMaster for sending this over. Uh, this thing launches today, actually. You can buy it now. Um, and the price is actually very reasonable, realistically. So I'm actually very happy with this. That's the TerraMaster D8 Hybrid. It comes out today. Um, I think it's pretty dope. I mean, if you want it, buy it. I don't know if it's on Amazon yet. I'll put some links in the video description down below. I'll put some links to their website. I have no affiliation with them. They'll just be direct. Uh, if I can find this on Amazon storefront, I'll put it in my storefront down below. Uh, that I would actually get a little bit of kickback from Amazon, not from TerraMaster, but from Amazon. And it does help me a lot because the vast majority of things I buy for my channel, I have spent like $20,000 on laptops this month. So, and I don't make much money. So we'll put it that way. So uh, that's the TerraMaster D8 Hybrid. It's cool. It's the first one of these things that hasn't been a massive pain in the ass and caused all kinds of partition problems and blown up my files. So I can use this confidently without being completely infuriated half the time because my data gets corrupted. So TerraMaster, yeah.